Rachel and the Stranger was an enjoyable, romantic western from 1948. starred William Holden, Loretta Young, and Robert Mitchum. And the film opens up with Robert Mitchum's character, Jim, who's just this easygoing character who's merrily singing as he walks through the countryside. Not sure exactly what the setting was of this film. I think it's kind of in the Old West time frame. And we're out in the rural countryside somewhere. He catches up with little Davy, played here by Gary Gray, and finds out that his mother has died recently, and that his father, Big Davy, is really just sort of sullen and sits by her grave, and he's not doing too well right now. Big Davy, of course, is played here by William Holden. And yeah, initially we get the idea that he's just this sullen widower who's just trying to get by in this wilderness, in this cabin with his son. But eventually Big Davy gets his act together. He gets cleaned up and heads to town to find a wife. So they arrive at this local settlement and they meet with a parson. And this parson Jackson was played by Tom Tully. And he's there with his wife, Mrs. Jackson, who's played by Sarah Hayden, who I've seen in a bunch of other films like The Bishop's Wife, great actress. And what they arrange here in this film was definitely unusual. They set him up with Rachel, who's played here by the lovely Loretta Young, who is some kind of an indentured servant. I think uh, her family was indebted or something, and she is in this arrangement where she is just sort of given away in marriage as a servant. So Big Davy is married to her, and it's a very unaffectionate service. It's very much practical-minded. So she can serve at the house with chores and raising little Davy and teaching him school and so on. It's definitely kind of weird. And I love seeing Loretta Young again. She was a great actress. I've seen in a bunch of other films I've reviewed here as well, including Along Came Jones, one of my very first reviews. So they bring her back to the cabins and does the chores, learns how to shoot a gun to scare off birds and stuff like that. And her introduction to this family is kind of slow going. Big Davy really has no affection toward her at this point, just sees her more as just a help around the house. But little Davy thinks she's an imposter mom and really doesn't warm up to her initially. But come on, we the viewers know how this sort of thing goes. Robert Mitchum as Jim shows up again and visits and they have dinner and a big sing-along. And he sees that Jim is maybe a little bit more warm and affectionate towards Rachel than he has been. And I think Big Davey also regrets his lack of musical ability because they're all having a great time singing together. And at this point, we start to realize he's starting to have an awakening that maybe he's taken her for granted. So later that night, he talks to her alone and it starts to sound a little bit quasi-romantical. You know, that happy music starts up and gets all sentimental, but little Davey interrupts as kids always do in films like this. Jim returns a little bit later and, you know, he's fond of playing the piano and singing with Rachel and Davey. And Big Davey, alas, he's starting to get a little bit fed up with him, as you can guess. And this kind of builds up to a big fist fight. It's a somewhat comical fight. You know, not a very graphic or violent one, but it's more a silly one where, you know, one of the guys winds up in a big tub of water, bops his head on a bucket, and stuff like that. So they're basically both fighting at this point over Rachel. Jim, who's realized she's an indentured servant, he offers to buy her with the promise that he will treat her much better than Davy has. And, you know, Davy's not having any of it. Well, she, of course, is starting to get fed up with both of them. And she's ready to leave. But then there's this threat of Indians attacking. And, you know, I'm going to kind of leave the review at this point. It's a fun film with this silly love triangle. But it's got some cute drama as well. And I really do like that interaction of William Holden with Robert Mitchum, two of my favorite actors, and I love seeing them paired here in this film. And is this William Holden's finest film? Well, probably not, but it is still fun. You know, I do prefer him as the dour, cynical crime noir character in films like Sunset Boulevard. As a struggling pioneer widower, well, yeah, he's awesome in everything he does, but maybe it's not my favorite role with him. And I do really appreciate Loretta Young's role here as Rachel, because initially she strikes you as this very shy, very reserved character, but as the film unfolds, you really get a sense of her character and her intelligence, her awareness of the situation that even though this isn't ideal, she's going to make the most of it. 
you know, making that effort by herself to learn how to fire the gun. You know, it's one of those vital life skills for wilderness living. And she soon finds her place as a mother figure to this young Davy as well. Robert Mitchum, of course, is excellent as this carefree traveler and friend of Big Davy who stops in. And, you know, from the early points, just has this interest in the character Rachel. Robert Mitchum is a fantastic actor, and particularly when he plays that cool, calculating character who might secretly be scheming a way to, you know, get his way and, you know, woo this lovely Rachel. And I love that kind of palpable tension between Mitchum and Holden's characters here. You know they're old friends, and yet there's that fuel of rivalry between the two. And you just want, you love to see it, you want to see how it resolves. Yeah, this is a great film, and I really enjoyed it. Gary Gray also did a fine job as Holden's young son, Davy, who respects his father and slowly learns to reconnect with this new mother figure. It was funny reading Holden's bio about this film. There's an amusing section about this particular film. So I guess at the point this film was made, Loretta Young and Robert Mitchum had been in the news. Loretta Young for winning an Academy Award and Mitchum for being busted on a marijuana rap. <laughs> Holden was apparently amused by that contrast between the, quote, ethereal Loretta and the roughneck Mitchum. Yeah, I can see it. And apparently Loretta Young had a tradition on her movie sets of keeping a collection cup to collect money whenever swear words were used, which she would then donate to a local charity for a home for unwed mothers. And the story goes is that being exasperated during a certain scene, Robert Mitchum jammed a $5 bill into the cup and loosed with a string of expletives. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. So that's my review of Rachel and the Stranger from 1948. It has William Holden, Loretta Young, and Robert Mitchum. It's a good, enjoyable, romantic western, and it's worth checking out. <laughs>